Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brienne and this is Bree's Knit. So today is Thursday the 22nd and today is the official first day of autumn. Yay! <laughs> um, I wanted to do this video. I was, okay. Well, anyway, sorry. Let me just, for I'll talk about that later. Anyway, today's video is another knit that. And today it will be uh, Gilmore Girls, the TV show. Um, if you're familiar with the show, then there we are. We're doing Gilmore Girls. Um, so I realized that um, last time I forgot to state what pattern uh, top I was wearing. Um, so my bad. Uh, but if you're wondering and you didn't comment or didn't see the comment below that video, um, I was wearing the Paisan blouse by Fabo Knitwear. Um, it is a wonderful, wonderful uh, top, and if you get a chance to knit it, I suggest that you do. But um, today I'm wearing my Eloise blouse by Friday Knits. Uh, um, I've been wanting to wear this to work, uh, but I was kind of like, I don't know if like corporate dress code would be okay with like this sheer top part. Um, so I was like, you know what? It's, I'll just wear it when I work from home and today I was so I thought that was um pretty great anyway so I'm wearing my wait is it yeah it's the Eloise blouse or top honestly whatever um but I love it I love the color I like how nice it came out and like how nice it looks with my skin I don't know I think it just looks good um but anyway, so today I wanted to do the Knit That Gilmore Girls TV show edition. I was initially going to group the seasons into two because there are quite a lot of seasons. Um, however, with work and life <laughs> and um, yeah, just that basically, um, I've started watching Gilmore Girls before I started working, but then I was just watching to watch. I wasn't paying attention for like proper analysis of the knitwear or um, making a list. So I have to go back and watch some of it. So I have with me um, some patterns for season one. I kind of wanted to preface it by saying that it's not necessarily like an exact copy, which, you know, is to be expected, but is more of a, gives me similar vibes to this character in uh, Gilmore Girls. So. Uh, without further ado, I guess I'll just get into it. Yeah, I guess so. Um, sorry, I got a little itchy in the in my back with the mohair. Oh, also, before I forget, because I will forget, um, I don't get sponsorships or, <laughs> or anything because I'm not that big yet, but um, or not that big in general, not that many people know about me. So I don't have Anna Luisa jewelry, but um, I have a friend who I want to shout out. She's a small business. Um, this is from her store. She is called John Scarlet Designs on Instagram. I'll leave her link in the description. But she makes such beautiful pieces and she hand makes them. So this is like one of the mother of pearl earrings. Um, I have quite a few pieces from her. Uh, I really like all of her stuff. They're super, super like beautifully done and you can tell she just puts in a lot of love and effort so um yeah if you want to show my friend some love please go visit her website and because she just took the leap of doing it full-time of selling her jewelry full-time um so I can only imagine how scary that is so I kind of want to show her that she made the right decision um in doing that for herself so if you'd like to uh, please just go ahead and check out her website, follow her on Instagram, and hopefully you see something you like. And yeah, but I love her stuff. Most of the time, whatever I'm wearing on my ears, if, unless I state differently, it's probably from her or a necklace or something. Um, but yeah, they're usually from, from her store. Like I grew up not really liking jewelry that much or accessorizing. And then... Um, you know, there are, there are other jewelry, like small business jewelry stores that I like as well, um, from Inst like when I found on Instagram, but I've definitely come back to her store like more often than the others. So 
yeah, if you guys would like to support another small business, a female owned, you know, woman owned business, Latina owned business, <laughs> um, all right, go check her out and visit her. Um, anyway, so enough of all the preamble. I'm just gonna get straight into it, otherwise I'm gonna keep talking about different things. So I'm gonna start off with headwear. Um, so the first uh, hat or headwear I have is actually a beanie. It's called Gran Loves Hugs by Deb Milstein. It's a colorwork beanie. Um, it comes in six sizes. It's $5 USD and it's made in a sock slash fingering weight yarn. Um, and this beanie kind of reminded me of a beanie that Lorelai wears and it's kind of got the same vibe with all the bright colors if you stuck to the bright colors. Um, if you've seen the show, Lorelai is kind of wants to be everything her parents aren't. So while her parents have kind of this old world view and aesthetic, very like everything wooden, everything handmade, everything luxurious and expensive, Lorelai loves everything loud. She likes things that are seen to be tacky. Um, she just likes stuff like that. So in one of her, mm, excuse me, in one of the episodes, um, they think it was at the town rummage sale. She's wearing a beanie that looks like there's a, I didn't realize it till I paused, took a second look. There are actually Yeti on her beanie, um, but I couldn't find any. I was searching and combing through Ravelry and like literally writing the word Yeti, the abominable snowman, the Bigfoot, couldn't find anything in the beanie department. Um, but then I came across Grand Loves Hugs and I kind of just thought like similar vibe, not the same thing. There's no pictures of the Yeti on there, but I feel like it kind of gives off, like I said, similar vibes. So yeah, there's that one. Second one is called the Lilia Hat by Sarah Solomon. It is also a colorwork beanie. Um, in a sock slash fingering weight. It comes in one size. It's at estimated around 20 to 23 inch, I'm gonna assume diameter, circumference, head circumference. Um, it's $7 USD. <laughs> um, I, I forgot exactly what scene this like inspired me from because I was just watching it and just paused as I went along. I wasn't writing notes along with it. I just remember like, oh, this one gave me this vibe. This one gave me this vibe. And I think this one was also another Lorelei similar beanie vibe thing going on there. So I kind of just wanted to put that one in there. Um, I think it's a really interesting beanie with the color work at the brim of the hat. I am a scaredy cat. I have yet, well, that's not a lie. I haven't not ventured. I ventured with chunky yarn in a coffee sleeve with just one stitch of a color change, I guess, um, and stripes, but that's about it. I haven't really done like color, like stranded color because I'm so scared, but these, um, like kind of all of this inspiration from Gilmore Girls is kind of making me rethink that because a lot of them look really nice. Like there are so many nice color work beanies out there. So this is definitely one of them and definitely gave me a Lorelei vibes. Okay. The next one is the hipster hat by Petite Knit. So this one, um, I mean, I guess it could be just any sort of watchman cap or hipstery looking cap, but I just put down this one because this one's very familiar to a lot of people. Some people, some of you might even have this pattern. Um, but I took inspiration from Jackson, which is their produce guy at the Independence Inn. Um, and he always has this beanie on, but his head is kind of like, or his face isn't big enough that he can put down the beanie and have just like one fold, I guess. Um, his beanies are always like rolled up. It looks like four or five times and it's just kind of like the tiniest little cap in the back. So I thought with the hipster hat, that could definitely be something that you can do with it too. If you were going for like 
Jackson vibes. Um, but the pattern, it has four size options. I think there's baby, junior, small adult head, and the largest adult head. It's in a DK weight. It costs about 30 Danish crowns, which roughly estimates to about $4.19 USD. Yeah, I mean, that one was pretty simple and straightforward, but the next one I am most excited about, and I cannot actually say the name that well, so I'm gonna write it down on the screen, um, but it's called Tras by, uh, put the name here because I really would honestly hate to butcher it and I did not give myself enough time to type it into Google and try to figure out how to say it. Actually, that's a pretty probably good experiment to do right now. Or not experiment. Probably should just do it and let Google and pronounce it. But it has that like not a not an accent over the eye. I forgot what it is. You see it mostly in like Gallic names. Okay. Wow. I mean, this designer is like the first one that comes up. So I'm guessing there's not that many people with that name. Uh, pronounce. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that one. I went to pronounce Albion or something like that. Like no. That's not what I meant. It's an Irish name. Or the designer is from Ireland anyway. Um, so I am just going to write it down because uh, Google has no help either. Um, but it is a take on the traditional Scottish tan. Um, I put this in here because of Rory's golfing trip with her grandpa. Um, Emily gives her a very bright and colorful tan. Um, this one doesn't have as much of a color work detail, but like I said, similar vibes. Um, and I really, really liked it. Uh, for a while I was on a roll looking for berets and tams and I didn't even see this one. So I don't know if it's new or not, but it's really, really pretty and really nice. And this is definitely one that I would for sure venture into color work for because it's so simple, so clean, so nice. Um, it comes in three sizes. I think it's like a children's and then two adult sizes. It is four euros, which roughly estimates to about $4.16 USD. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I don't know why I exclaimed that loudly. It, it's an Aaron weight uh, pattern as well. So last but not least for our headwear, uh, space. <laughs> it's the Penelope Kerchief by Penelope S. <laughs> um, it's a free pattern. It comes in four sizes. I, again, I think it's like a couple of kit sizes and then two, no, one infant maybe. There's a lot of child sizes and then it goes into adult. Um, but it's a DK weight pattern. Um, honestly, I think any kerchief that would remind you of something that Lorelai wears. I mean, Lorelai mostly wears bandanas, but I just thought that would be like a pretty good excuse to just make a kerchief for yourself. Um, I think just any kerchief would do, but I think this one was on my mind because Emily from High Fiber Knits um, has talked about it most recently. So just on my mind. And it's also free, so why not? Um, if you're thinking about getting into Halloween spirit and wanted to dress like Lorelai Gilmore, you have a couple of hat options available to you. Okay, so the next section of, oop, there goes my phone. My hair is pretty wild, doesn't it guys? I don't know why I decided to just look into, look, look at this, look at this. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> um, okay, so the next section that I have here with me is cardigans, because there are quite a few. Um, I didn't get everything, you know, in the first season, um, so please bear with me. I could not stop every second. I mean, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I was trying to get like main characters and people that you mostly see on screen. Um, I, I just can't wrap my head around 
like constantly trying to pick apart everything and also even though the tv show is set in connecticut i don't know if a lot of you guys know but it's actually filmed or was filmed in california and burbank california so a lot of it i'm pretty sure they didn't want to put them into like a lot of heavy knitwear so a lot of the knitwear that they do have seem like machine made um which is fine but it's just not as thick or heavy sometimes uh so i just i honestly just saw more jackets as well rather than like layering knitwear it was more like here's a coat and they're fully closed up or here's a jacket and it's zipped or here's a jacket on top of a shirt or stuff like that so it wasn't really like knit heavy in my opinion also before i continue there i was trying to look on pinterest too to see if it'll help expedite this research process um and on pinterest i know every time i look up gilmore girls they bring up um mostly the chilton uniform so if that's something you're looking for i would suggest you go back and take a look at the um at my dairy girls video because it's just a similar like uniform um any v-neck slipovers v-necks v-neck cardigans um that's basically about it i know that florence by handmade by florence is coming out with the sporty skirt i don't know when but if you really wanted to do that and modify it with like a bunch of color work uh you totally can but um yeah i think that's really about it so if you really wanted you can just go ahead and if you'd like check out my dairy girls video and most of whatever i i kind of say for their uniform is basically the same thing for the chilton uniform okay and anyway now on to the cardigans so the first cardigan i have here on my list is the shepherd hoodie by katie davies it has eight sizes and i'm really sorry i didn't write down each on each pattern like how many sizes like i think this one has bus circumference and a ton of numbers and i think the way i did it last time felt a little cluttered to me so i'm just gonna say it has eight sizes um it cost 650 pounds which is roughly about seven dollars and 71 cents um and this one reminded me of lorelei again not exactly the same um but I for there's a scene when she's at her parents house and she has like a brown hood like cabled hooded uh cardigan so when i was looking through Ravelry, i was mostly looking for cables and an erin or chunky weight pattern um with buttons and that's the one i found it's not the exact cable pattern but again just kind of like going for the similar feeling here and i think lorelei's cardigan was a little bit longer than what the pattern is um, but that could always be modified so and so it is an air and weight pattern um so the next cardigan i have here on my list is the no frills cardigan by petite knit it comes in at nine sizes so extra small to 5xl and it is 45 danish crowns or roughly six dollars and 29 cents usd and it is a DK weight pattern. So this one in particular reminded me of Paris. Um, there's that episode when Rory kind of just um, decides to tell Tristan like, hey, you should date Paris. And I think it was like the day after the date, um, Paris is wearing like this long duster cardigan. And immediately my head just went straight to the no frills um, cardigan by Petite Net because I had seen it as like one of the first patterns I kind of thought about knitting when I started knitting or not first patterns, one of the first cardigans I thought about knitting. Um, but it's just so long that would honestly take me forever. That'd be a, such a huge labor of love. And I just was not up for it. But if you're up for it and want a good duster cardigan, the no frills cardigan seems like it could be it. That could be your jam. And if you make it in like beige or light brown you could totally cosplay as paris geller so there's that one i don't know why i feel like putting my thumbs up but whatever i don't know what to do with my body right now anyway <laughs> the next cardigan i have is the arles 
cardigan by, I'm just going to say her first name because her last name is Polish and I don't know how to say it, by Dorota, 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 okay, Dorota, um, put her last name here, uh, it comes in nine sizes, it is $6.50 USD, and it reminded me, oh, it's a lace weight pattern, by the way, it reminded me of Lorelai's cardigan, so there's a couple of times when she wears it and then there's a couple of times when Rory wears it because in the show you know they do mention that they share a lot of clothes with each other so it's a green lace uh cardigan that she's wearing I think this is the best I could find however in the show it looks like her gauge is a little bit more open so realistically I think with the Eloise blouse I did a four and a half uh needle so I would feel like honestly if anything was like this kind of an open gauge um as a cardigan would look really well and like way more similar to the cardigan that I'm talking about in Gilmore Girls um it's a green cardigan like I said lace weight it has some beading in it too um but yeah I think if it just had a bit of a more open gauge because the pattern that I am suggesting here, the Arles cardigan, seems a little too bit of a tight gauge. If that makes sense. Um, I think it needs to be a little bit more open, but I think that's the best I could find. And I really have seen that cardigan multiple times. So I thought it'd be um, useful to just bring it up. So the next cardigan, the next and final cardigan before we head into our pullovers is the is jerry by pamela Wynn. it comes in 12 sizes and unfortunately it is part of just an ebook um what do you call it an ebook collection so the ebook comes with six patterns and it's 30 dollars usd although if you can just find any other i'm pretty sure i've seen like drops to have a free pattern similar to this um, but it's kind of just like this cow neckline, um, you know, cow, is that what it's called for guys? Like their cardigans kind of has like a little bit of a flip here. Um, I was desperately looking for something that was similar to Taylor Dozy's cardigan. Um, oh, 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 so this one is an Aaron weight, not Aaron weight pattern. Um, but I was looking for something that was very similar to Taylor Dozy because he is constantly wearing the same cardigan for the most part. It does have elbow patches, but that can just be added on unless there are patterns that you know of that have that similar look with maybe Intarsia for the elbow patches. If you do, put it in the comments below so you can help out other people who maybe want to cosplay as Taylor Dozy or just have that similar vibe and feeling of the Gilmore Girls town and want that pattern. So um, this is just kind of what I saw that I was like, oh yeah, that fit the bill. But that is the unfortunate part. I don't know if this particular designer has a way to just purchase one pattern at a time. I tried looking at her website and that wasn't as helpful either. It kind of just looks like it's all in one ebook. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. Lastly, last category, I have pullovers for the Gilmore Girls. So the first one is the Chunky Cable Sweater by Pernille Larson, who is the woman behind Knitting for Olive. Uh, it is a bulky weight pattern. It comes in eight sizes, so extra small to 4XL. It's 45 Danish crowns, which is roughly about $6.29. And this sweater pattern recommendation is largely inspired by the first, I think it's the first or second episode of Gilmore Girls, um, which Lorelai lovingly calls Rory's Moo Moo. It's a very ultra oversized cable sweater. Um, so this is why I wanted to include this because I felt like it was just essential to the first few episodes of Gilmore Girls. Like Rory was kind of in this place of not feeling like she fit in and kind of wanting to disappear from her life at Stars Hollow High. Um, so I think it, it's just, I, I just needed to include it. So I included a couple examples 
to kind of go with it. Again, not exactly the same. I tried, but <laughs> this is just kind of what gave me a similar feeling. So then the next one was also an inspiration of her Moo Moo, as Lorelai calls it. It's the Oban Sweater by Thea Coleman. It comes in seven sizes and is $8 USD and it is a worsted weight pattern. Um, so it does actually look a little bit lighter than, than the other one. Not just because it's worsted, it just, I think the gauge may be a little bit bigger. Um, so it just looks, a, it's not exactly, but if you wanted an all over cable with a lighter yarn, that's also an option. Okay, so the next one is called Cotton Grass by the Petite Knitter. Comes in nine sizes, so extra small to 5XL. It's $12 Canadian or roughly $9.36 USD. Um, it is a DK weight pattern. And this one was inspired by Rory slash Lane. So Rory has this color work yoke uh, sweater. It's mostly white up here and then there's some blue in the middle and then like a very bright green. Um, Lane wears it when she comes over to Rory's house when Rory is at her grandparents and there's a big storm uh, in, in Connecticut. So she kind of just stays there with, uh, with Lorelai and she wears that same sweater. So I'm assuming she just dug through her friend's closet and just picked a sweater, whichever one she wanted to wear. So, um, I do think that one, if you can make the cotton grass sweater in similar colors, definitely give like a pretty similar close vibe to those two girls. Now we have three more patterns and I'm going to have to take a break because my camera is actually going to cut me off soon, but I think I can make it through one more pattern before that happens. Okay. So the next pattern is called Cooper by Martin Story. It has six sizes. It's $7 USD and it is an Aran weight pattern. And this pattern recommendation was largely inspired by Dean and his sort of more formal outfits, especially on his three month, is it three months? Three month anniversary with Rory. Oh my goodness. Um, so it's that, and then I also threw in the Hazel Sweater by Petite Knit, which is nine sizes, extra small to 5XL, 40 Danish crowns, slash $6.29 USD, worsted weight pattern. So these are both mostly ribbed sweaters. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna be popping in pictures everywhere, but uh, this one really reminded me of Dean and kind of just like his more formal wear and formal knit wear, um, especially in a cool town like that. Um, so yeah, I thought that one was a pretty good option. Oh no, I can make it. Yay. Perfect. So the last sweater I have here is called the Arrow Sweater by Petite Knit. It's seven sizes, extra small to 3XL. She might come back and gauge it because I know with the No Frills cardigan, she just updated the pattern sizing to 5XL. So I don't know if that's an option for her in the future, but she's done it before. So hopefully, um, it's 45 Danish crowns roughly $6.29 USD, and it's a DK weight pattern. Um, so this one, I can't remember why I put it in there, but I'm going to have to say either Lane or Suki <laughs> might have worn something like this and kind of just reminded me of this sweater. Um, so I'm just going to say it's one of those two. But uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you for suggesting Gilmore Girls because now I have like six more seasons to go through. Um, so if you guys liked this video, please give it a like. Maybe. Of course, my camera cuts me off as soon as I'm doing my outro. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and maybe consider sharing with your friends. Um, I wanted to get this out this week, so I'll probably have it up the 25th. The 24th is very optimistic, but maybe the 25th um, as part of kind of an inauguration of autumn. Um, even though for me next week, sometime it'll go up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so uh, um, I, really enjoyed making this video and I have six more seasons to go through. Um, season two doesn't look that promising. 
but I'm trying my best friends. I really am. Um, <laughs> so if you want to see more in the knit that series, uh, be sure to subscribe, stick around. Uh, I don't know if you put notifications on, but I usually post on my Instagram when it, uh, when my video is posted. So if you want to follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated, uh, I haven't really posted a lot recently because I'm still working on my test knits, but, um, I hope that you guys are having a really great week and let me know what you guys are excited to do for autumn. How cold is it where you live? Or I know in the Southern hemisphere, what, what season are y'all in? Um, spring? What are you guys needing? <laughs> and what's it like where you are? Um, let me know in the comments below and I will try to get back as soon as possible. I try my hardest. Usually my husband is like, hey, you have so many comments on your video. You should respond. And I'm like, okay, I'll make a mental note. And he's like, no, you should respond before you forget. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> It's not on purpose, guys. I just forget a lot. And um, again, with work, I mean, I think I'm settling in and adjusting pretty well. But sometimes I just forget at the end of the night. I'm like, oh, I just want to knit and go to sleep. <laughs> but in that order. Um, and sometimes both at the same time. It's happened before. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's fallen asleep with knitting bells in their hands. But... That is not really the point. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a good week and I hope you guys did something to kick off the start of fall, even if it's just casting on something that you want to wear for the older months. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.